On this Blue Zoo TV episode, we're back at Gates Chile High School in New York for their fifth grade aquatic atrium tours. Welcome to Gates Chile High School's fifth grade aquatic tours. Over 400 fifth grade students have come to participate in hands-on learning in aquatics, ponds, the rainforest, and botany, all in the name of science. We are here with one of the organizers of this great facility, Mrs. Weatherell. Thanks for the invite. Oh, you're welcome. Explain a little bit about what you have going on here. Well, what it is is we have a course um, that where the students work on the instructional pieces behind this atrium. They water um, each week. They take care of the plants. We have our own garden um, where we are growing broccoli, Brussels sprouts, all of that. We learn the science behind that. And then these students also take care of our pond life. Um, our turtles, all of these things. And what we're doing today is we're working together with the Botany Club and the Aquarium Club to teach these fifth graders all about what they have learned. And the cool, exciting thing is the fact that these are kids teaching kids, and they absolutely love hearing about all the science and all this really cool, exciting stuff when you get to high school from the actual kids. Um, so it's been a wonderful experience on the kids' end that they get to, the high school kids get to experience what it's like to do some teaching, do all the background work, to understand all that goes into being a teacher, um, and how proud they are of all the work they've been doing. And then on the other end, it's great for the kids to be able to have some good role models. Hi, I'm Mike Weinberger of Gates Chile High School. I'm a junior here, and we use this product called Ultimate water conditioning for our tanks. What we simply do is this. Take the top off, put it into a cup, bring it up, and put it into the water. That's it. My name is Spencer, S-P-E-R-N-C. <laughs> <laughs> S-P-E-N-C-E-R. Hey guys, I'm Spencer. I'm a senior here at Gates Chalet. And uh, I'm going to show you guys about the turtles. You guys know what kind of turtles these are? This one's a red-eared slider. You can tell because it's got red on the side of its head where his ears would be. And this one's called a painted turtle. And you can tell because it almost looks like someone painted a shell. See how... Do you? Yeah, they're pretty cool. These guys usually like to inhabit uh, warm freshwater ponds. They eat a lot of crayfish, small fish, grasshoppers, bugs, and stuff like that. Uh, this is the crayfish. I'm the crayfish boy. I'm Ryan. I'm a, se I'm a senior at Gates Chalet. Uh, we caught these crayfish fresh this morning from Black Creek. We went out early. And this is a crayfish. You can uh, hold it if you want, if you know how hard its shell is. We have its uh, claws for every band, because if you did, this guy did get you, he'd probably get you pretty good. You, wanna, you can hold him, though. He won't hurt you. You can hold him on the back. There you go. All right, now if this crayfish here, you can notice how hard his shell is. If I can find, this is, if you guys want to touch this guy's shell, his shell is a little softer. And this, the only reason for that is it's because in the spring, right around this time, they start molting their shells, the hard stuff that was used for the winter, and they become very vulnerable to turtles, fish, bass, especially. And they go under the, they go under the shells. It's very hard to find crayfish this time of year. We spent about an hour trying to find this many. All right, now if you look, I'm gonna go my, this is my good friend Randall, crayfish. His tail is all muscle. And with his tail, you, he can swim very, very fast. They don't, very, they don't swim uh, forwards very far. They swim backwards. There you go, see how he's moving? See how he's swimming like that? Yeah, they, they're quick, they're, they're quick. Hi, it's Taylor again from the Gate Chalet High School, and this is our 300-gallon saltwater marine tank. In here, we have our Valangi, Fox Face, Picasso Triggerfish, Porcupine Puffer, and we also feed them every Tuesdays and Fridays. Keeps them happy, healthy, swimming around. These are our tanks, and on each of the tanks, there's a little poster of what we feed them. You can look at them. Now, would you want to eat that? No. That looks a little it's gross to you. No, I don't think it has any taste. But it keeps our fish ha happy and healthy, so 
Who would like to feed him right now? Me. And there they go. The Huma Huma went right at it. These guys get special algae flakes for the Picassimuses. You guys seen the fish that go against the glass and they suck it or whatever? Well, we have special algae because sometimes people say algae is bad, but for these fish, it's actually good because it keeps them, you know, energized. This is a freshwater tank. Inside the freshwater tank, we have a Picassimus, the big guy right here. He's my favorite of the group. Why he does? He eats garbage and algae that you find in the tank. Besides these guys, we got clown loaches, tiger barbs, silver dollars, African cichlid, mollies, swordtails. Your average ordinary freshwater fish you'll have like at your home, for instance. The point was, you have to get food in order to survive because animals become extinct in this world without any food. Because in the world, we're losing many animals because they're becoming extinct, because people are hunting and killing them. Who had the most? You, you're a big time survivor, so you're going to be surviving a long time. She, on the other hand, since you got the least, you'll become extinct because you weren't able to get as much food. Yeah. Do you see the point now, kind of? The next time you hear someone say kids today just aren't learning what they used to, they're probably right. At least the students at Gates Chilet High School and 405th graders would agree they're learning a lot more. The Aquatic Atrium Tours. Science has never been so fun. Now, if they'd only let me drive the bus. To learn more about the show or to email us, go to bluezootv.com.